Hello everyone, welcome back to Naomi's Bookshelf. Today we're starting off the vlog for week three, no week four of March. So if you saw last week's vlog, I was pulling prompts out of my mug to direct my reading for the week because I can't stand um, not having direction when I am feeling lost in all the books I could pick. This is why I like having a TBR. This is why I like having direction. And I felt like I had no direction. So my last prompt that I picked was Miss Scarlet and that would be the color red. So I looked through my library books, which if you saw last week's video as well, you would see I had a massive haul. Um, I have a, over 20 books out right now that I could pick from. And honestly, I just picked the one that sounded the most interesting to me. So the one that was most interesting to me and that matched the Miss Scarlet prompt and is a library book is All the Colors of Magic. This one is by uh, Valja Zinnick. Um, this one is a middle grade and it's about, it's, well, the back says, a girl, a head full, uh, a head of flaming red hair, a road that no one has walked before. So I think the back says, well, the back says it best. I'll just read it. If a person has smelled a fire there all their life, it's a little confusing when that smell disappears overnight. But Penelope felt even more confused the next morning because when she went into the bathroom, she found a strange girl staring back at her from the mirror above the sink. The girl in the mirror had Penelope's small nose, Penelope's dark green eyes, and Penelope's pale skin, but she didn't have limp gray strands sprouting from her head. She had a wild tangle of hair as red as fire. So I feel like that fits Miss Scarlet's prompt pretty well. I don't know anything else about this, but I'm excited to try this one out for a middle grade prompt, just for middle grade in general, but also for a potential buzzword recommendation. I am trying to put these in before the month I need to read them in. So this will be a June potential recommendation. So I'm going to be trying this one out um, for this particular prompt. And then this week I have a couple priority ones I really do want to read. Um, one of them is my last TBR clue book, which I need to find something for the billiards room. And I have chosen to put the breaking point on here as I do really want to read it. However, I will start this right now by saying reading has been really hard. I do not want to read. I have not been enjoying the mysteries I've been picking up. I enjoyed two mysteries thoroughly this month and everything else has been disappointing or negative in some way. So I'm really hoping to turn that around. Um, the only Agatha Christie book that I've read so far this month was what I kind of expected. So it wasn't a bad thing or a good thing. It was just expected. So this one I have not, I've tried to get into a little bit, but not really. So I'm hoping to get this one done. This is a priority for the week. And if I can fight a prompt into it from the mug, when I pull out it after finishing this book, great. Otherwise I will be picking this one up. This one's more like romantic suspense, not really mystery. So that's something I know. And then the other priority one is the Seven Dials Mystery uh, by Agatha Christie. I do need to read this one for an uh, online book club that I'm a part of, even though I forget all the time to comment my thoughts on there. But this is the next one I need to read and I need to reread it. So I do know the whole mystery and it was a five star the first time. I'm really hoping it stays a five star. We'll see if my mental health right now, or not my mental health, but my chronic migraines does impact that rating. So we'll see what happens. But that's my uh, little priority TBR right now. This one for the prompt and the other two, as it is, I have an ebook of Breaking Point and these other two I just have as they are. So this is my little TBR starter for the week. I hope that you join me and see what else I pull from the mug as I go along and we will see what happens this coming week and how I finish out all the readathons.
hello. Um, Wednesday night now. I didn't check in yesterday at all, I don't think. Still not wanting to read. Uh, I have made it to that far in. Um, about 150 pages, so almost halfway. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue from a lot of the comments that I'm trying not to read, but I uh, am happening to catch my eye on. Um, people in the group aren't too happy about the <laughs> progress of the breaking points. So I will just quickly see if everyone thinks I should pers persevere or not with the breaking points. I might message them right away and see. Um, but I just uh, today have been... Uh, not doing too much. I mean, I worked, but work was pretty relaxed today as I, um, I mean, we're doing spring break right now. And so that means no theme circles or anything, but it means a lot of prepping for the future. So that was meant, I did a lot of sitting on my computer and uh, prepping for April and May and even June a bit. So I felt like I was pretty stagnant today in my movements. So I did a bit of a workout this evening and that was pretty good, but now I'm feeling not overworked, but I felt, I'm feeling tired and I am about to watch Survivor. I would have gone to my sister's house, but I don't think I can trust myself to drive with my migraine. So I could probably drive there, but I don't know if I can drive back and I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to stay home. Uh, but yes, and then we had a little book club meeting, which was fun. So we did that and yeah. Can't think of anything else to catch you up on, except for the fact that I did start Movie Land today by Lee Goldberg. Um, I had given it a little false start and I gave it a real good try. I think I'm 16% now. Either way, I'm 60 pages in and I notice I'm saying either way a lot now that I'm vlogging. It's one of my phrases now, sorry. Um, but I am 16% in and I'm really enjoying it. It is about E. Ronan, the whole series is. But Eve Ronan and her partner, Duncan, who's about to retire in two weeks now. He's 14 days out. And uh, he and Eve, uh, they find, first of all, a water um, water plant that has been broken into a couple times. And I know that has more to do with the plot than they're letting on. So that's the first thing. That's the first chapter. Then the second chapter is where they go into uh, a park and they find a woman who's been shot. And that is where it kind of takes off from there. They're trying to investigate what happened and where that's going. Um, this is book four in a series of Eve Ronan and her time at with the Lost Hills uh, Sheriff's Office. This is not a police specific, but it's like a police procedural, essentially. It's really interesting. I'm really enjoying the start of that. So I might try to continue reading that while I'm interested. But um my interest can go like that. So hopefully that doesn't happen tonight uh, or tomorrow. So I'm going to yeah, do that. I also have to do a bit more work tonight because internet wasn't working at uh, work and I need to do a bit of uh, typing up some things, but I will do some things while I am watching Survivor, hopefully on commercials, and then maybe have a good night's sleep tonight. Um, after everything gets done and I don't know. I'm really hoping not to give up on this, but I, from reading the comments, I don't feel like this is gonna put me in a good mood. So I'm gonna message them all and see what they think if I should persevere or not. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know on my next update if I have finished with this one or not. Hi, it is Thursday, Thursday uh, afternoon. I'm on my lunch break, but I want to check in and say I have decided to Maybe not completely DNF the breaking point, but put on pause. Uh, I just, I've asked the group essentially, and there were a few responses that really uh, told me, I mean, several people were like, well, I really didn't like it. And I am also like, the one person who really convinced me to put it on pause was Kevy, who said that she wishes she had DNF'd it. And if she wishes she had DNF'd a Mary Roberts Reinhardt, I'm concerned. <laughs> but mostly I'm actually like, I'm just not feeling the drive to pick it up, which is a big concern for my current momentum. So I'm like, I'm just not going to try it anymore for now. 
So it's not a big DNF, but it's like a soft DNF because I'm just not feeling it. So I have been reading the uh, movie land. Uh, I'm about 25% in now, maybe almost 30, really enjoying it. And I am definitely having a good time with that one comparatively. I also brought this one um, to work today and I'm gonna try starting it at the very least and see how that one goes. So we'll try this one out. But this does mean I don't have a book for my TBR clue and I'm gonna risk it this month because I genuinely don't care if I have an extra book on my TBR. So I will be doing a random number from my uh, oldest TBR list and we'll see what book I'm going to be reading from that shelf. So yeah. That will be in my next TBR clue video um, if I get the envelope wrong. I still might not have to read an extra book, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, I am just currently updating you on my thoughts. I will not be continuing in the breaking point at this point, but yeah. Uh, so I have been doing that one. Um, I think I will be <sighs> solidly attempting since second degree murder. I feel like I keep talking about that book and I am just never finishing it. The voice of the robot is driving me crazy. Pull, full on, that's the reason. But I uh, have some time tonight, so I will make a solid effort to get some of that done. And I uh, am going to try reading on my lunch break right now. And We'll see how far I get with all of my reading. I might just end up watching TV, to be perfectly honest. Um, that's what I like to do on my breaks, but yeah. Talk to you later. So it is Friday night now. I decided to wait to check in until I had actually finished this, which I have now. Um, this one, I really enjoyed. I'm giving this one four stars. I thought this one was a really interesting uh, fantasy. It's not part of a series, which I think I would really enjoy more of this series. But at the same time, I'm happy where it's like only a standalone. This one follows Penelope, who her hair is gray and she always smells of smoke. But um, one day, like, and there's something else about her that like the very beginning you learn that she can hear things her mother is going to say before her mother ever opens her mouth or her mom will be like about to open her mouth and say like, grab the plates. And she'll say, okay, I'll grab the plates before her mom ever says that. So she's a very interesting child. Um, she's about 10 years old during this book's events. So I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was very interesting. This is actually a book from Germany. So the author is German and it was translated into English by, I'll find the author or the translator, I should say. But um, I really enjoyed the different characters. So Penelope lives with her mother and her grandmother and her father has not lived with them her entire life. So I really enjoyed this book and it's really about uh, just a lot of different family things and kind of a magic system, but kind of not. So the translator is, I'm just trying to find it here for uh, you. <laughs> so it was translated by Helen Jennings um, and the author is um, Valja Vinick. So this one I really enjoyed. I think there were some things that I like, I really wish there's more explained about. And I really like though that it ends on one book. I do think this is really interesting. Um, world they're kind of setting up with magic system because it is a fantasy, but it also kind of leaves a little foot to the unknown. So really enjoyable. It's like under 300 pages and highly recommend this one if you are interested in that kind of thing. So yeah, it kind of follows the normal chosen one, but kind of not. And, um, very interesting. I don't want to give away too much more though. Not as many people have reviewed this book or read this book. So at least on Goodreads. So I'd recommend picking this one up if you're interested in that kind of middle grade. So there's that. We'll pick the next prompt now. Um, I left my mug. Sorry for getting really close to the camera there. Mug's here. I'm gonna have to put my mug down so I can hold my phone. Um, let's see what the next prompt will be. Okay. So the next prompt I'm going to go with for this weekend will be this one. And that is, okay, 
series. Um, that's really easy. Really, really easy. I am going to go with, for that one, one book that I need to read. And one book that I've been trying to fit into this game, because I do really want to continue doing this game. But I'm going to read the next Superintendent Battle book. So, technically this is one of Agatha Christie's independent novels. But this is like book two in the Superintendent Battle row. So, we're going to go with this one. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to read this one again. Although... I'm hoping I will be really loving it as I just need really great books right now. So I'll be rereading this one for series. And that's my first book tomorrow. So there we are. Hi, I have been doing reading sprints this um, morning, well, afternoon, with Janelle from Too Fond of Books. And I've been reading The Seven Dials Mystery. I have a hundred pages left now, which is exciting. I am going to head to the library this afternoon. I feel like I have to go every single Saturday to pick up books. Um, I have to drop off a few couple books and then I also have to pick up some things from the store. But I just want to chop it, pop in and say, I'm almost done my last night's pull and I'll be picking out a new book as soon as I'm finished. Hello, so it is now um, four o'clock. Let me just check that, yeah, five to four. I need to head out. I'm by the library, as always on Saturdays. Um, I need to go get laundry detergent, grocery shop, the normal things. But I did finish Seven Dials Mystery just now. Um, it was really great. I was scared going in a way that this was not going to stay five stars. This was the first Agatha Christie book I actively remember giving five stars to. So this had a lot to live up to in regards to like memorabilia or not memorabilia but like memory steak and this stays five stars this is witty this one is fun this one is just so fun and clever I love the characters I love everything about this book genuinely um I don't know why this one just strikes a chord in me but it does it just is so so great and I love bundle I love everything about this. I especially love the scene like dead in the middle where it feels like the clue scene from the movie where like in the middle of the night everyone's running around. It's just I love this whole thing. So I finished it. I finished my series prompt. We're gonna pull out another one. All right we have my mug here still. Um, I've really been enjoying this way of picking which book next to read even if it took me a while to read the, the Scarlet prompt. So this one is the rope. Okay, let me think. So what I'm going to go with, it will be Show Me All Your Scars. This one is a collection of not like nonfiction essays or short stories. Well, it's nonfiction, but at the same time, it's all about mental health and uh, mental illness. So it's subtitled True Stories of Living with Mental Illness. I'm going with this one in a sense because ropes can cause rope burn and these are about scars. Um, so it says 20 fascinating journeys through madness. That's at least the title on the back. It says, what would you do? What do you do when your father kills himself or your mother is committed to a psych ward or your daughter starts hearing voices telling her to harm herself or when you yourself start hearing such voices? Addressing bipolar disorder, OCD, uh, trike comenia, self-harm, PTSD, and other diagnoses, these original true stories vividly depict the difficulties and sorrow, and sometimes too, the unexpected and surprising rewards of living with mental illness. I've had this one for a little while now, and I would like to get to it, so I figure that this one will be a good way of squeezing it into my intended reading for this weekend, um, and also making it work for the rope prompt. None of my books have ropes on them or have specific rope association so i'm going to go with this for rope burn and try to read this one over the course of this weekend so aside from that i am off to the library and i am off to go do my errands and then hopefully i won't pick up too many extra books at the library i'm going to stick to what i have on hold and that should be good i don't have any um real personal books on hold i think maybe a couple but mostly of them are for work so i'll be okay uh but then i will be back and hopefully uh listening to some audiobooks, getting stuff done, reading my nonfiction, and I don't know, I haven't read many nonfiction this month so far, so um, it'll be good to get some nonfiction in this month, I think. So I'm home now. I did all my things, but I'm feeling really bad. My head's like, I don't know, a ton of bricks. 
Um, so I'm going to go to bed again. <laughs> I have no very exciting life today, but um, I mean, I got my what I needed for groceries and detergent and stuff, which was really important. I grabbed all my learning materials from the library. We're doing spring and weather, so that's fun, but I need to grab those things. And now I'm going to lie down because the rain happened. Also, I got gas, which was really good. And um, yeah, I'm gonna head out, head out. I'm gonna head down to my bed, try to recover my brain because that's really hard right now. But anyways, I'll check in later if I am able to read something or not. Um, but at least I finished a book today because I've only read two books this week, which is not great. And the lighting's not great here either, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna turn the light on because my head's gonna hurt worse, but I will sign off for now. Uh, it is like eight o'clock now and I'm feeling still terrible. And tomorrow I'm helping out in nursery at church, so I cannot maintain this. I need to get better. Um, so I just tried reading this and very much at the beginning it says, this is not a book you can read in like two or three days. You need to take your time because you can only get through like two or three stories per day, just how difficult the difficult the stories are. And um, I'm like, that's not good for me right now, even for my own mental health and physical health to be able to focus on something. I can't do this. So I will be putting this to the wayside for now. And I will be reading M because the cover that this one looks like, it looks like strings or thread. It's a three hour audiobook. I'm gonna put it on and relax and try to keep working on my own physical health so I'm well enough for tomorrow working in nursery. Um, so I'm changing out my book and we'll see. Emma's an arc that I got a long time ago and I never read it in time. Um, that's very short. So I'm having good feelings about finishing it. And if I don't listen to the audiobook, I can read it as a Kindle book. So there we go. So I finished M. I'm giving it four stars. I really enjoyed it. And it's, it's a really hard one because it's talking about the Vietnam War and, um, things that happened to the Vietnam people and the way that they were shot down and killed and the, the way they were treated basically like nothing. Um, Kim Thuy is a Canadian, but she did come over from Vietnam, I think when she was eight or 10, um, and she lives in Quebec. So she speaks French and Vietnamese. And so um, the book is translated into English, but it was really well done and I really enjoyed it. So I'm picking a new one up. My brain still hurts, but I was able to at least survive while not focusing on my brain. So another prompt. This is the best place to do the prompt. So I left my darkness for you. Um, <laughs> so let's see what this one is. All right. What is it? Book to buy. I want to do a library book. <laughs> um, hmm. What's a book to buy? I know that Gone with the Wind I bought because of a book to read along. Um, what else did I read by because of book to? Um, I have bought, not Agatha, Agatha Christie because of book two. I have bought Agatha Christie because of myself. Um, hmm. What else did I buy? A lot of these things would be on that list. Um, let's see. I don't know. <sighs> I'm going to have to think about that. Um, if I can apply my library books to this, I was not going to read Murder in Old Bombay until Booktube made me take it out of the library. So maybe I'll do that one. Um, and then I took out If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy because of the library or because I saw it on Booktube. So there's that one. Um, but it's not one that I've purchased. And that was the point of that pull or that prompt. Oh boy. I don't know. What else did I have to do? You know what? I did, um, I do need to read. I didn't want to read it yet, but my book club is reading this for April's occasion and I need to read this anyways. And um, I did buy it because of all the hype on booktube. So The Visible Life of Addie LaRue. Uh, so I'm at here. I know exactly where I am in the story. 
I just haven't literally read it since last summer. <laughs> um, but I, I should probably get back to it, especially since I have to discuss it April 13th. So I am here, I think. Yes, I think I'm right here. Um, so I'm at page 126. That's where I last read. So this will be my book to buy book. Um, I guess we'll be starting this early. I was going to wait till April to pick this up, but it is a book to buy and it is something I should prioritize. So here we go. This will be my next one, um, for the rest of the week physically. And I also want to tell you, um, I am reading Movie Land by Lee Goldberg, but I'm like, that's my pick for, I found it's really effective for me to read when I, um, I'm just sitting at nap time with the kids on my Kindle. Um, otherwise I'm starting to fall asleep. So I'm just having it in my hand. And so it's very slow going because of how much time I can dedicate to it, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm 41% in, so it should be finished next week, but that's where I'm at with that one. And then honestly, I haven't made any more progress in Sense and Second Degree Murder. So I'm not going to update you with that one until I finish it because I'm tired of talking about it and not finishing it. So I'm going to update you when I've done it. Uh, but those will be my three books right now. This one, and I'll be continually reading Movie Land for sure during nap time starting Monday again. Um, so here we go. Good morning. Uh, actually, I should say good afternoon. It's one o'clock. I did not go to church and I went to, well, I watched kind of online, but I ended up falling asleep because of my migraine. Um, but I just finished the book club with um, Kate Howe and several other people. It was great. And talking about <laughs> the second book in the Molly Murphy series, which I did not thoroughly enjoy. It was very disappointing. Um, I mentioned that in a vlog, but I am now going to try to get my life together for the rest of the day. I'm feeling a bit better than I did this morning, but I still don't feel great. So I'm going to hope I can do this and I might even have to call in sick tomorrow. I hope not. Um, I'm feeling really warm and when I feel warm, that's like, I can't do anything. I, fevers are the worst. I cannot cope in the, in a, with a fever. So I'm going to just try to make do. And uh, I don't know, we'll see if I read anything. We'll see if I don't do anything. But I do plan on making this vlog all the way to the end of the month. So I have another four days left. So I don't need to wrap this up at all. I've only read three books. Um, I have read, uh, all the Colors of Magic, and then I read Let's Me Check. So I've actually read four. I read The Seven Dials Mystery, The Call of the Wild, which I didn't actually talk to you about. Um, So I'll tell you now. Um, I read The Call of the Wild on audio. I was like, I don't have time to read Evangelina or Evelina, not Evangeline, uh, but Evelina. And that's a really big book. And I was like, I just don't have the brain power, the mental time. So I picked up another one, which is in my author's jar. And especially one that I knew was middle grade or directed at middle grade, I think. So this one uh, I have never read and I thought I knew, but I didn't really know. Um, this one follows a dog and I'm already forgetting his name um, as he is basically sold and like stolen from his owner and sold to be a, uh, uh, what is it? A sled dog, <laughs> a sled dog for the gold rush. Um, I found it to be interesting and it's from the dog's perspective all the time. So I didn't really uh expect that i don't know what i expected because i had never read that but i also don't really typically i don't typically like books where animals are the main character or animals we hear them through the animal's voice and i enjoyed it for the most part so i'm giving it three stars but it, once again it's not my kind of thing so uh three stars is really good for that kind of book but it's just not my kind of thing that i've also read m and that's all i read this week so i am not unhappy with that week with this week but i I'm going to continue on because I typically don't read during the weekdays or finish books during the weekdays. So I feel like that'll be okay for this vlog. Um, but um, that's what I've been doing so far this week reading wise. Most of these are finished this weekend. So that's good. Uh, but I'm just going to take it easy today. Hopefully get my life together for the weekend. Or not for the weekend, for next week, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, see you later. So I am uh, filming TBR Clue. It is Monday night. And I am uh, a little bit of a pickle. I don't really know what to do for certain prompts. I am unimpressed <laughs> with my polls, to be honest. 
I, I think I'm just not feeling um, the pulls. So I need to do a bit of research, but it is Monday night. I uh, got the ebook for Addie LaRue from my library. So I have been, start I started that up um, from where I was at before. So I am now, um, I think I have 300 pages left in the physical book, which is not bad. I am trying that out. <sighs> I am just a little tired and I really need to finish filming this tonight. So yeah, need to fill these prompts and I'm not too sure what I'm gonna put in these prompts to be honest. At least no one, at least no one. Um, but I am not sure of the others. So I guess you'll be finding out in the video that should come out before this one though. So you can uh, check out my TBR clue, uh, which is already out. So I filmed my TBR, figured out all the prompts, which was good. Um, man, filming was a mess. And I feel like that comes out very well. It comes across very well in the uh, um, video, in the clips. I'm a mess right now. So I'm making popcorn. It's gonna be good. I'm going to relax tonight and hopefully edit that. Maybe I'm having it go out on Wednesday. So I need to get that together. I mean, I have some time tomorrow, but I also was hoping not to have to do too much, so. Yeah, tomorrow at work should be not too crazy, but at the same time, I don't wanna spend all the time doing things. I would like to just relax on my lunch break, not having to edit. I'm gonna grab my popcorn and I'm going to uh, chill out. And I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like reading it. Agatha Christie, that's, that's just my comfort zone. So maybe I'm gonna grab a Miss Marple book, cozy up, have some fun. So it's Wednesday morning, um, about maybe 11 o'clock, 10.30. I called in sick because my throat started hurting. I bet you could hear that. And my nose was definitely uh, sneezing a lot. <laughs> so um, yay, that's why I probably felt so bad while I was filming my TBR clue, to be honest. But that is out today, I think. And I'm in bed, so yeah. Um, I'm not feeling like reading at all because that's what happens when I'm sick, obviously, but I might put on my audiobook of Sense and Second Degree Murder. I might not, uh, however it goes, but, um, yeah, just, I'm not great. That's probably why I haven't been feeling good this week or weekend. Uh, just the symptoms didn't really start up until last night slash the afternoon, late afternoon. So, yeah. I uh, will just be taking it easy today and maybe I'll get something done, maybe not. I will check in later if I do get something done though. So I'm home from another day of work. It is Thursday. Um, yesterday I was very sick and I just needed to chill. <laughs> uh, I just actually slept a lot for the day. So that's what I did and I am much better now. I don't know if you can tell, but I am not sniffling. I am feeling a lot more clear headed. It's wonderful. So I have finished first and second Samuel um, over the course of the last couple days. And then I also uh, finished Norwals on a sunny night by Mary Pope Osborne. So there's that one I finished and I am really hoping to get another book done today. I might not, but I'm gonna try. And then I also need to edit this vlog tonight so it can go up tomorrow um, as I'm hoping to post on the first. So I am just gonna be productive. I worked an earlier shift today as my coworker wanted to switch. So I was happy about that. I'm home a little earlier than normal, not crazy amount, but like 15, well, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna try to be productive right now, um, get some stuff done. And then maybe I'll be able to, I don't know, finish a book again. I've already finished three really small ones in those terms, or at least marked them all today, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So it is time to wrap up this vlog. I have not read anything else tonight. I uh, thought about it, but honestly, I got sucked into uh, binging Catching Killers on Netflix. And I have finished that complete two season series since yesterday. I mean, there are only eight episodes between the two series, like two seasons, but I did it. <laughs> I uh, flew through them. True crime documentaries about catching serial killers from the perspectives of the cops. 
I'm in every time. Uh, anyways, <laughs> the books I have read, I was looking over the books I read and I found that quite honestly, they were all very short this week or week and a half. Um, quite honestly, the longest one I read was All the Colors of Magic at I think 288 pages. Shortly behind that one was the Agatha Christie, which was Seven Dials Mystery at 287 or 83 pages. Um, not very long books at all. After that, I read The Call of the Wild, M, which are all like 100 pages, 120 pages-ish. Um, then Narwhal on a Sunny Night, which uh, I didn't really explain earlier because I only read it today, but that one um, follows Jack and Annie as they go back to Greenland about a thousand years ago. Um, this is book 33 in the Magic Trio series, and this one was published two years ago, I think. Um, this one talks about uh, how Greenland was and why it's so important with the uh, climate and all the animals who lived around then. Uh, also with the explorers at that time, which is really interesting. So that one was pretty short, but very interesting as always. I'm enjoying a lot of the books in that series and I have found my enjoyment has not dulled with age. <laughs> um, then I finished first and second Samuel during this time. I forgot to keep mentioning them, but I did read them. Then uh, I think I DNF'd The Breaking Point, which I DNF'd at 150 pages. So that's longer than some of the other books I read. <laughs> so I did read a fair amount of that. Um, and then I think that's it for what I read this week, which is not a lot. But I'm okay. I read a total of seven books. DNF'd one, so eight if you include that. Um, I watched a lot of true crime. I had one sick day where I didn't read anything. And the page total doesn't matter. I'm okay with it. Um, honestly, I'm happy with where I'm at. And the pages I've read and the books I've enjoyed. The books, like rating-wise, I think this week has really peaked up because I've been reading books I've enjoyed. And I've given a lot of four stars out this week. Uh, I mean, Call of the Wild was three stars, but that's not a bad thing for that kind of book. It's not just not my kind of thing. So I think this is a good end of the month and I'm looking forward to April. I did say earlier that I wasn't thrilled with the polls. Um, I, the polls weren't what I was looking for. I was looking for really simple, <laughs> for honestly, but I'm okay with the books that I have chosen. I'm actually really happy with what I potentially have to read now. Um, looking forward towards April and the different kind of things I can pick up based on my TBR clue prompts. So it's actually turning out to be really interesting and I'm happy for the variety I'm going to be picking from. So I'm, I'm not upset anymore. <laughs> I think it was just in my sixth state that I was and being a little grumpy. <laughs> so I'm I'm not so grumpy anymore, but I am getting to the end of my day and I do have work tomorrow before I uh, put this in the vlog and then head to bed. So thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new here. Please let me know if you'd like more consistent vlogs from me and leave a comment down below about all the books that you've read. I think I read a total of 10 middle grade books over the course of March, which is very abnormal for me for middle grade March. I normally read about five middle grade books and I'm happy with that, but I doubled it. Apparently middle grade is just what I was in the mood for. I read, I think six mysteries and that's very strange. That's very low for me for March Mystery Madness, but I did do six mysteries, which I'm happy with, um, considering some of them were pretty disappointing. So I'm happy with the mysteries that I read. And then I really did well with the Greek gods -athon. I completed all of the prompts and I am happy with every other readathon I participated in, that I participated in. <laughs> I completed every prompt and I am extremely happy with how everything went. So I think that that deserves a pat on the back considering I was not feeling the, the books this month. So I'm looking forward towards April with happy, happy thoughts, I hope. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I really do enjoy your support, so please leave a like, and I would love to chat with you next time. Bye for now.